Hello friends, today you are watching Brand Tech and today we are going to discuss appendicitis. Acute appendicitis is the most common emergency encountered by the general surgeons. It is more common in males, 11 in per, per 10,000 persons. Appendectomy is a simple, simple procedure but sometimes it can be very difficult. Uh, and the choice of surgery nowadays is laparoscopic appendectomy because we can look into the all quadrants of the abdomen not to miss other causes such as perforated duna also and there are few historical events like in 1736 calendars eminent in 1824 leo wilderman in 1889 charles McBurney, and two in 2009 the first transvaginal removal of appendix was done by santiago organ mark a and that procedure was known as uh, thalamy and also called notes natural or revised transluminal endoscopic surgery now we will discuss the vision of the appendix the uh, majority of the patients suffering from appendix is to secret appendix and then pre ileal and post ileal uh, pelvic appendicitis uh, fourth one is subsequent fifth one is parasical and subhepatic appendix is, all, is associated with subhepatic cecum and occurs due to the mode rotation of the gut now let us uh, discuss about its signs and symptoms. First one is symptoms of uh, pain is severe. Locate type initially felt in the umbilical region and it is due to the distension of the appendix. And after few hours the pain localized to the right iliac fossa. It is a somatic pain which is due to the inflammation of the parietal peritoneum. And uh, this is called shifting pain of acute appendicitis. The most reliable symptom of the acute appendicitis is the migratory pain and vomiting occurs once or twice due to the reflex pylorus spasm. Appendicitis is unlikely in patients with normal appetite, usually patients having anorexia. Fever is also of low grade and indicates bacterial. And now about its signs of tenderness. Tenderness and rebound tenderness are also present at McBurney point and rebound tenderness also is called bloom work sign. Guarding irregularity is present, robsing sign, hyperesthesia, pops was test, pops obturative test. And now let's discuss about dropsing sign. Dropsing sign. Well, uh, when we palpate left iliac region of abdomen, uh, it produces pain in the right iliac uh, region because the displacement of the chronic gas and uh, small boil uh, coil impinging upon the inflamed appendix. Now let us discuss about this etiology. It may be related to the sterilization of food, a diet rich in meat, precipitates appendicitis, and a diet rich in fiber protects the person from appendicitis. Uh, the appendicitis is a disease of a rich person and middle class people. It is not present in uh, poor people. It has two theories obstructive theory and uh, non obstructive theory. Obstructive theory indicates that uh, the obstruction to uh, it causes obstruction to the lumen of the appendix due to phacolytic worms or uh, cyst of entamoeba and causes obstructive appendicitis. Non obstructive theory indicates that it is due to the bacteria such as E. coli, Enterococci, Proteus, and Pseudomonas. And it seems to be more common than the obstruction. A non obstructive theory and its investigation, like we can calculate total WBC uh, urine examination, C reactive protein, plain X abdomen erect, and the abdominal ultrasound. CECT is the investigation which has control and enhanced beta tomography. Alvarado. A scoring is highly suggestive for antisitis. It is only a simple and cost effective scoring system. It can be applied when specific investigations such as ultrasonography and CT scan are not available. If the score is less than 5, then the appendicitis is not sure. If it is a score is between 5 to 6, then it is compatible. If the score is between 6 to 9, then it's probable. And if the score is more than 9, then it's confirmed. Now, the complication of acute appendicitis first one is rupture. A rupture of appendix was a generalized peritonitis with the 10 to 10. 20% of mortality rate and the treatment was emergency laparotomy, appendectomy and peritoneal bulge followed by drainage of peritoneal cavity. The second one is appendicular, appendicular mass and the presence of mass is contraindicated for appendectomy because it is very difficult to remove appendix from such a mass. Created by Oshner and Sharon design, A, B, C, D, E, F, A for aspiration with dial to B for vowel grip and C for chart temperature, pulse, respiration and D for drugs to cover all the organisms including gram positive and gram negative uh, E for exploratory laparotomy should not be done and F for fluids, patient is kept nil orally for few days 
now let us discuss about the treatment of the appendicitis then these are uh, laparoscopic or upper laparoscopic and for late we can do interval appendectomy now let us discuss about the problems which are important to the appendectomy the first one is incision is small and second is normal appendix is formed third one is gangrenous appendix involving the base the appendix cannot be formed now let us discuss about incidental appendectomy it means removal of the normal appendix append laparotomy for another condition example laparotomy uh, and iliary section for stricture and anastomosis uh, exam, uh, contraindication for incidental appendectomy in crown of cecum radiation treatment of cecum immunosuppression vascular grafted patient and chances of infection are high in this group of patient this result will uh, the result will be fecal fistula and, uh, and it is very difficult to treat and the other causes uh, what to do if normal appendix is found at surgery normal white appendix not at uh, lily white appendix it is removed because the scar should not add confusion later to a doctor whether appendix was removed or not and uh, post appendectomy fecal fistula it can occur after append appendic appendectomy especially when gangrene of the appendix extend to the base of cecum it can also occur if first string stitches not properly applied injury to the terminal ilium or cecum is it can occur occur discharge of fecal and contents of fecal matter after appendectomy suggest fecal fistula usually discharge stops after a few days provided there is no distal obstruction and the important causes of fecal fistula are carcinoma cecum and ileocecal tuberculosis in india and crown disease in the west if you like the video please don't uh, forget to subscribe and hit like button and also hit the bell icon